Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have my weekly Walmart grocery haul as well as my meal plan. I share one of these every single week so make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on future grocery haul and meal plan videos. Today I actually went in store. I always, always, always do Walmart grocery pickup but they didn't have any pickups available for Wednesday and which is weird because I always shop or I always shop on Tuesday night and then pick it up on Wednesday and they had nothing available. It was crazy. So I had to go in store which I hate but it was okay. I didn't spend any more money than I was supposed to. This is around a $99 grocery haul. Then I also went to Dollar Tree, so I'm gonna share with you some of the things that I found there and maybe even an Amazon Prime haul because I did get an Amazon delivery too. So I think I'll share with you what I got at Amazon too. So we'll get into the meal plan first and then I'll share with you what I got when I was shopping. My meal plan is going to run from the 13th to the 19th. On Wednesday tonight, we're having potato soup and salad. I do that in the crock pot, and it is so good. And then for Valentine's Day, I'm making sausage and meatballs in the crock pot with some spaghetti and salad and garlic bread and not making a red velvet trifle. I'm actually making like a chocolate cake trifle with some whipped cream and some chocolate whipped cream on top and some strawberries. It's going to be so yummy. On Saturday... Friday. We're going to be doing jalapeno chicken casserole. This is a new recipe. I've never tried it before, but it looks so good. And I have those like French, French's um, jalapeno like chip things. And I want to incorporate them with that. On Saturday, we're going to do a chicken Caesar pasta salad. On 17th, on Sunday, we're going to do leftovers. So I feel like a lot of these recipes, especially like the spaghetti and the potato soup, will have leftovers so i'm actually planning them this week and hoping for the best and then on monday yeah. we're gonna have the crack chicken soup chris and steph actually just shared this on her what's for dinner video and it looks so good so i'm trying that this week it looks right up my family's alley especially my husband i think he'll really like that and on tuesday it's my cousin's birthday and we're going to the flyers game so we're definitely gonna eat out we're probably gonna get chicken and pizza or something like that and as far as my lunch options for Valentine's Day, I'm doing um, Valentine's Day pizza bombs. So I get a lot of questions about these pizza bombs. And literally all you're going to do is take store-bought pizza dough. I like to slice it in half and then in quarters. And then roll them up, put them in a um, muffin tin with some pizza sauce. You can add some like garlic to that, some olive oil spray. And um, I'm adding pepperoni and cheese this time. I'm going to make pepperoni in the shape of hearts for Valentine's Day. So that's going to be their lunch for Valentine's Day. On the 15th, I had a mac and cheese plan, but I didn't actually end up buying that. So it'll, we'll do something else. But I have Lunchables as an option and a mozzarella sticks. And that is it for this week's meal plan. All right, guys. And here's an overview of everything that I got over here with my Walmart stuff. And then I have some Dollar Tree stuff over here. And then I'll pull out Amazon after I share with you all this stuff. So this is a small haul. It's only $99. And um, if you want to see like a huge haul, because I did stock up last week and I went to BJ's this week. So if you want to see those huge hauls, I'll link them down below. But this is just a fill-in haul, things I needed for dinner and like recipes and stuff. So over here I did get the 18 count of eggs and then I found some clearance bread which I love 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 when I find good stuff on that clearance rack. So this one here is just the garlic herbs topped Italian bread. Never tried it before but I'm sure it's amazing because their other bread is really good. And we're going to have this with our Valentine's Day dinner. Then I found my favorite bread ever, the everything loaf. So if you've never tried it, definitely go pick it up because it is amazing. I don't know what it is about it. Making it your own just doesn't do it justice. I don't know. But for 75 cents, I had to grab it and I'll throw it in my freezer for when we need it. Next, I grabbed some bacon. I've been getting this big pack of bacon because I've been finding that I need it for things that I didn't really even plan on. Like I've been throwing it in lunches and things like that. I do need it for my potato soup um but i will be using it for a lot of other things that's why i've been grabbing the mega packs next i grabbed some two packages of the thin spaghetti so that crack chicken noodle soup asked for um angel hair pasta but my husband doesn't like angel hair pasta which really sucks because i love it that's my favorite pasta so we compromise and get thin spaghetti he likes more like a rigatoni so we compromise here so this is for our um spaghetti and meatballs and um that soup here this is a repeat buy 
I tried this last week and we really like it. It's the Protein Plus Penne. You cannot tell that it is any different than regular penne. It just has that added protein in it, which we like. And if we're gonna have carbs, it's nice to have the extra protein in there. And this is for that um, jalapeno casserole, jalapeno chicken casserole. And I grabbed the Bowtie Noodles. I used this in my Chicken Caesar pasta salad um, that you guys, I think you guys will really like that. It's probably one of my favorites. I make that a lot during the summer and we haven't had it since summer, so I'm excited to make that again. Down here I just grabbed a bag of the mini cucumbers. The regular cucumbers were like all mushy and gross, so hopefully these last before we make that um, salad. Mama. Then I got a bunch of bananas for, I don't know, even my big kids are liking bananas now. I'm shocked. Next, I got the value pack of the Hormel Pepperoni. I've been yeah. grabbing this every single yeah. week, too. The kids love Lunchables for lunch, and this is awesome to snack on. I did get a pack of the Caesar croutons um, for that pasta salad as well. I grabbed two packets for the ranch. I think I need one for that soup, and then one for the jalapeno chicken casserole. So I'm glad I went in store and found this because usually I've been buying the two like cartons of organic 2% milk. I didn't know they had the gallons. I think they didn't at a time, but they must have got them. And I've just been used to grabbing the cartons that I never knew. So I did get the gallon of the milk because I did buy um, those carnation instant breakfast packets at BJ's and the kids love them. So they're like actually drinking milk now. So I needed the gallon. Down here, I saw my girl Kira at Fifty Shades of Mom haul these, the extra sweet grape tomatoes, and I saw them like still in a box in front of the display ready to go up, and I was like, I'm going to grab these right out of the box because the way she raved about them, I had to try them. So they're like super sweet, like like fruit. These, Well, I guess tomatoes are technically a fruit, but you know what I mean. So um, I'm really excited to try these. The kids love grape tomatoes, so I think they'll really, really enjoy these. Next, I grabbed two bell peppers for my um, spaghetti sauce. And I grabbed the romaine hearts. All of them looked horrible. Like I was trying to just grab the bags kind to make it my life a little easier, but they all looked horrible as usual. So I grabbed this kind and um, I'll have to cut this up for the Caesar salad. Back here, I grabbed um, two of these creamy chicken condensed soups. This is for that cracked chicken recipe. And we were out of peanut butter, so I needed to grab this. I always grab the Smucker's Natural Peanut Butter because the ingredients are literally peanuts and salt. And fun fact, if you didn't, if you don't watch my lunch videos, then you probably don't know this, but if you store this peanut butter upside down, that's any like natural peanut butter. If you store it upside down, those oils just like combine. I don't, I don't know, but it does, it works. And you don't have to stir it and there's none of that gross oil stuff sitting on top. So it all mixed together and you can just flip it over, open it up and then use it. This is the Caesar um, dressing I decided to go with. I love Newman's own dressing. I don't know if I've tried their Caesar before, but I thought I would give it a try. And we love Great Values House Italian dressing, so we grabbed some of that for salads and things we were out. All right, down here some fun things. So I'm making like these brownie parfait things for Valentine's Day. So I'm using this Hershey's um, whipped cream. If you've never tried this, it's amazing. It tastes like chocolate mousse. It's so good. So I got that for on top. I did get the original strawberry yogurt for the kids on top of their waffles in the morning. And I got some strawberries. Finally, strawberries are somewhat reasonable again. And they are for snacking as well as those brownie parfaits. And the whipped cream is also for the brownie parfaits. Here, I just grabbed some Brussels sprouts. We love Brussels sprouts in this house. Um, I love to roast them up and get them really crispy, so they're so good. And here are the ruffles mozzarella and marinara chips oh my god if you haven't tried them they're amazing they're literally like dipping a mozzarella stick in sauce and eating it like definitely go try them they're like a limited time new edition chips they also have a jalapeno and cheddar one that i love as well but i didn't grab those instead we grabbed the lay's wavy bacon wrapped jalapeno popper chips never tried them yet they were something new that i saw so we're definitely gonna give them a try we're like into trying new chips right now all these chip lines or all these chip brands are coming out with new um flavors so we're like all about it right now here's what i grabbed to make those parfaits i originally had on my list like i was gonna buy like already made brownie bites just to throw in there to make it easy 
But of course they were out, so I just grabbed this Hershey's sliced chocolate cream cake. I'm sure it'll be delicious in it, just as delicious as brownies. And back here I just grabbed a pack of chicken. I don't need all of this, but they were like out of all the small packs. I don't know what was going on with my Walmart, you guys. It was crazy up in there. But I will freeze half of this and just use what I need. And here are some non-food items. So my husband bought me a Pioneer Woman plate like about a month ago. He was like, you only need one to share in your what's for dinner videos, which is true. Um, so he grabbed me one, which I love because now every time I go into Walmart, I'm going to pick up a different plate so that I have a really fun and mismatched set. So today when I went in, I found this one and it's just this adorable polka dot and like turquoise color. I love it. And this simple here with the little scalloped edges, like a turquoise one. And these two were only $2.38. The other plates ran for like four something, but these guys were only $2.38, so I definitely wanted to pick them up. I mean, you can go to Dollar Tree and get an ugly plate for a dollar. So for like a dollar fifty more, um, hello, I'm gonna get a Pioneer Woman adorable plate. So I grabbed those. So you'll see them in my What's for Dinner videos now, and I'm super excited about them. And the last thing that I got at Walmart was this L'Oreal Ever Pure Sulfate Free Shampoo. So if you follow me on Instagram, you saw I got my hair done and I got some blonde in there. So I needed a sulfur and red. So that's really why I need this. So I needed a sulfate free um, shampoo. That's what the stylist recommended. And she said, don't go spending money on an expensive shampoo. Just make sure you get one that's sulfate free. And they had like this two pack here and it was only nine bucks for these two. So it was cheaper to buy it in this little box. And it is the rosemary kind. So I'm hoping it smells good. Actually, let me open it up and let you know if it smells good. Okay, so it does smell really clean and fresh. Um, not fruity or anything. It smells more like eucalyptus, I would say. Um, more than rosemary. I don't know if they're similar. But um, yeah, it says quenches dryness anti-fade and UV filters with natural botanicals. So, and it's 100% vegan. So we're gonna give this a try and hopefully it'll keep my redness in my hair. All right, so that is everything that I got at Walmart. It's egg storage container, which I need in my um, fridge. So like people can't ever find these, but they had a whole display. So I definitely picked one up. And also this is what I actually went in Dollar Tree for was these hair curlers. So for the 100th day of school, my daughter has to dress up like she's 100. So I'm going to put her hair in curlers and then spray paint it. Well, hair spray paint it um, gray. Next, I picked up the Shopkin Valentine. So I'm like really kind of annoyed with my daughter's school right now. So not only is the 100th day of school on Valentine's Day, which I don't like because I wanted to dress my daughter up for Valentine's Day. But whatever, I'm over that. So we got the like Utz Valentine's Day pretzels. If you might have seen them in a different haul that I've shared if you watch me. Um, and it was just like the huge box had 32 pretzels, like individually wrapped Valentine's Day pretzels. And they were cute. They said to and from on the package. We wrote them all out. And I was, Aubrey was really excited to give them out. So on her paper that she got home that had all the kids' names on it, it just said no candy. It didn't say no snacks and I thought pretzels were a definitely a safe option but Aubrey came home and said that our teacher told her no snacks so I called the school today and confirmed yes no snacks whatsoever so she's gonna be sending in some plain old card Valentine's and we're gonna call it a day because I'm over it next thing I grabbed was just a brush I was brushing my hair the other day with my other Dollar Tree brush and it snapped in half so had to pick up a new one of those. Then I just grabbed this um, two pack of these bags here. I got the little heart one for Aubrey to carry her Valentine's in. And then I got this plain red one for Ryan to carry his in. Next I found this by the register. I just needed a notepad to write like jot things down on. And this was really cute. Um, I'm thinking it says every day is a good day or time for a good day or something like that but the, i love the little foil pineapple and it was just like small and convenient that i can keep laying around then i found these storage containers you guys know i'm obsessed with food storage containers um but this has like a separate little piece in there for like dip and stuff and you can put like some snacks up here the dip and then some snacks down there i love 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 that and i love the gray print as well so my husband will probably use this a lot for his lunches. And I love when I score um, cereal at the Dollar Tree. And I found this Dippin' Dots Banana Split. 
Kids will love it, I'm sure. It's a family size, huge old box, and it was only a dollar, so you gotta love it. And I'm looking over here and forgot that I um, didn't share the chicken broth that I got. So I just got a big one and a little one. I like to keep this little one like in my fridge when I have to like put some kind of liquid in like any kind of recipe. I can throw some chicken broth in it if it's in my fridge ready to go. All right, so as far as Amazon stuff goes, first thing I have here is um, these little pink earmuff things for like soundproofing for the baby because she's going to her first Flyers game in a few days. And you guys, I'm so nervous about it because the time the game starts is her bedtime. So it's pretty stupid that we're taking her, but I'm hoping everything just works out fine. Um, and I hope she wears these too. Maybe she won't even need them. I don't know. But I wanted to have them just in case. I will try to link all this stuff down below as well if you're interested in buying any of these things. Um, the second thing I grabbed was the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. Been using this for about a year now and I really love it. Um, I have super dry skin, so I need something that's really good. So I grabbed this one and I'm also trying the eye gel. So this is just um, hydration for under the eye area because you know, if you follow me on Instagram, you know my kid doesn't sleep and I need some under eye help. Um, some of the reviews said it's literally just this but in a smaller container so I don't know we'll see <clears throat> next thing I'm trying is this covergirl covergirl and olay simply ageless three-in-one foundation so I have read really good reviews about it um, it's hydrating and it instantly reduces the appearance of wrinkles improves skin tone and it delivers firming moisture which I love so I grabbed this as well as the primer but for some reason, they ship the primer separate, so can't share with you that right now. But um, this is what the um, foundation looks like, and you can see the swirls of the um, moisturizer right in there. So that's awesome. And I got the shade 210 Classic Ivory. And finally, I grabbed some of these Crest 3D White Strips. I've used these before, um, but it's been a while. And the last thing, I don't even remember the last thing that I would, I would use because... It's been like years since I've um, used whitening stuff on my teeth. I heard really great things about these. And um, the reviews on Amazon were really good. And there was a $10 coupon on it. So I think I paid 30 bucks for these. And um, it says one hour express and the last 12 months and beyond. So hopefully they work. I'll report back and let you guys know. And the last thing from Amazon that I'm actually shocked came already. So this is the baby monitor that we use and love. We've had it since um, you know Emma was born, and the power cord went on this like the um, can't or the monitor part. So I emailed the company because I couldn't find like a power cord when I just like searched DB Power. I couldn't find a power cord like to just buy. So I emailed the company and I was like, you know, hey, I need a power cord. Where do I buy one? And they're like, oh, we don't just sell power cords. We're gonna send you a whole new um, monitor out. So. Now I have two cameras and two, and one base, which is amazing. So I can put one camera in like the playroom or whatever, and I can watch um, like I can watch any camera from this base. I think you can hook up to like six cameras or five cameras to it. So love this baby monitor. I do definitely recommend it. Grab it on Amazon. It's kind of pricey. I think two hundred and something maybe, but I think that's how all video monitors are, and I love that it's not Wi-Fi either because that creeps me out <laughs> but all right guys and that is it for today's video let me know if you like seeing what i grabbed at dollar tree and amazon too all in the same video and thank you guys so much for watching i will see you next time bye guys